it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? It's Craft Farms here back with another video and today we are back on my desktop. So <clears throat> I have finally completed all of the fields on my map. So um we have a couple of things that I need to do right now. And that is I need to move all of the field markers to the fields that don't have them. So. Hmm. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna figure out what field we used last. Eight, thirty, nine, thirty, next field. We have thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. Uh oh. We're gonna have to do one short. I'm gonna have to fix that. Mm -hmm. Let's Let's find the four X sample map. It's got to be here somewhere. There it is. Let's extract that. So, sorry for the uh, audio issue in Tuesday's video. I forgot to change the path for my audio, and oops, and uh, so it was trying to record the audio through my desktop, and it can't do that. So I completely forgot that. 25 failed, 36, make sure that it has no files. I could have just re-imported fields, but field 36. There we go. Alright, so field 30. Um, these two fields here, I'm not going to have the um, the roads to yet because the elevator will be going in this area, and that is where the um, that's how you get to these fields is through the elevator. So, so we're going to start with these fields here. So what we're going to be doing in this episode is moving all of the buy triggers here to their positions and then changing the PDA map and then we'll be in game doing a little bit of field calculations. Uh, I need to drive around and calculate field edge paths in every field to figure out the size of every field so that way I can figure out the price of every field. Oops. So yeah, so now it's uh, on to the detailing and now I can start working on all of the buildings for the map. So 
So yeah, I still have a lot of work left, but we will uh, be getting it done. So I'm going to show you guys here in just a moment uh, the Google Earth image that I used for the DEM. I'll show you guys how similar it is. It's not exact, um, my map, but it's pretty close. Okay, cooperate, that'd be nice. that field. So yeah, there's a total of 36 fields on here. I have no idea the amount of acres yet. I have to go through and calculate all that yet, like I said. You guys will get to right along in doing some of that. That one I'll put right there. I put 34, the uh, entrance is down. I just didn't put one yet. We need terrain editing. This has four square. This has gravel. And this has grass. With Box six, check. Go. Go like that. This two five point five. Go like that. And go down to zero point five. Go like that. There we go. Perfect. Oops. There we go. Good enough. So now 35's trigger. We will just put 35 and 36 will just kind of put up here. Um, once I get the elevator added in, I'll go back and add or, you know, adjust them to be where they should be. But for now, we'll just kind of put them near the fields. Just to... Just so that I know where they're supposed to go. Uh, probably just going to stick it in the middle of the field here. Right about there. But I'll bring it down to the ground. There we go. I need to import 36. And let's go under the fields. Let's go. Now, once we move this one, we can we have to go and adjust the field map indicators, which is what puts the number on the field. Um, so yeah, I believe this field right here is like seven or eleven acres, something like that. That's what I want to say it is, because remember my papa talking to my uncle about it. All right, so now we need to go back and adjust some stuff. Okay, so that one's good. And we need our field map indicator. And usually, I just kind of throw these out somewhere in the middle of the field, so that they're you know they're not on the edge of the field, but they're not you know they're not like perfectly in the middle either. But it's 
long as they aren't uh, right next to each other to where they're <clears throat> where they're um, all crowded in one spot. Alright, so we just have one more field after this because 35 and 36 I'm not going to worry about right now. I will wait with those until, until they're in their final position. All right, there we go. We can close that and we'll hop into our PDA view. Snap a picture. We need, we have our PDA opened up right here. So I need to adjust this. Um, yes. Um, so I need to adjust this to fit that side done. There we go. I will save that. We'll go to Photoshop. We'll get this picture. Oops. Copy not paste. Wait, no, that should be a little bit lighter. Where it's there, but you can still see through it. Like that. I was in the right place. Need to select PNG. And this is image 45. No. Go. And we can drop this back into perspective. Open back all of our windows, or at least just our scene inspector, I guess. Save it, and I'll show you guys here quick the um, terrain image. And we'll open up the PDA image. You guys can see just how close they are. Pretty dang close. It's not bad for Giants Editor. I mean, Giants Editor, it's sometimes hard to get things dead on, but yeah. So what I'm going to do, uh, let's get this thing zipped up. So we're copy all this. Go E14. Paste it all there because I didn't always back it up whenever I make a lot of big changes. Um, I haven't backed it up for a while because I was waiting to finish all the fields, which was probably a stupid idea, but it never crashed on me. I never screwed anything up, so we're good to go. Let's wait for that to copy over. So I'm going to get this let this finish copying over, and then I'm going to zip it up, put it in game, and I will see you guys in game. So. All right, guys, and we're back. <clears throat> so uh, we're at the temporary starting point. I just have this as the starting point till 
I get Tenvik finished. As you can see, we got our town and our fields all completed. And the map's looking pretty. So, um, I still can't figure out how to get rid of that little dumping point right there. I don't know what it is, and I can't find it. Uh, for whatever reason, we own 29 and 24. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to sell those. Nine and four. We don't want to own any fields right now. Uh, I am going to set it up so that once you start the game, you own field nine, uh, since that's the home field. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to buy a pickup. We're going to buy my good buddy's Silverado. As you can see, I have damage mod. It's not incorporated into the map. I just have the mod in my mods folder. So this is my buddy's... 1990 Chevy Silverado. This is a SketchUp model that he's been working on redoing to match his real life truck. Uh, it's just beta version. Uh, it's not public. It's private. Uh, as you can see, you know he's got to fix his AOs between these two and whatnot. But it's a pretty dang good truck. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drive around and we're gonna get started. So we'll start with field six. I got a notepad here so I can write it down. Um, I also have a Google document for it. Uh, the price is $175 an acre. That is a true price. I just went and looked it up. Uh, so, holy smokes, we have 16% damage. So we'll go ahead and we'll start with field 6, I guess. And we're back full. So six is force, it's six. Because some of these will have more than one. So now if we put this field work, we can go here. So six. Size is fifty-five point nine seven. So I'll show you guys me doing a couple of these and then We'll switch to my desktop, and I'll show you guys me figuring out the prices, and then uh, that should be the video. Probably drive on the road. We drive a little faster off the road here. So as you can see, I'm running pretty good uh, FPS. Even looking at town, you get pretty good. Alright, so this is field 5. Path is 5. 26.9. Alright, on to the next one, which is field 4, or field 8, so, so the northern half, or the eastern half, excuse me, these we have 39% damage already, yikes, I'm gonna have to buy my fuel trailer. Just to be able to repair this thing. So field 8. So we have 8. East. So we have 19.66. East. I'll drive down here to the west path, and that path here will be 37. 
west. It's the only bad thing about all these waterways, you gotta do a few courses for everything, but... I don't know how, how, how high this goes. Oh yeah, I got plenty of... Yeah, this is 37. It's 24. Western. I'll go do field four. Uh, field four, it has a little uh, path through the waterway, uh, as it does in real life, so I won't have to worry about more than one course for this one, as you can see. As you can see, it kind of runs around there, so. This one's path is 4, and it's size 27.3. And we'll go through field 1 here, which is a very nice sized field. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the biggest map on here, or the biggest field on here or not. Uh, it's going to be close between 1 and 32, I think. Because they're pretty, they're both pretty large. Field 1. One, and it is 60.11 hectares. Alright, so now we'll do field 2, which I don't think the tree line runs all the way to the edge, so it should, keyword being should, uh, record the entire field. <clears throat> 15 is two pieces, so I'll have to do 15 and 38 for that one. Alright, so. Field two here. So its path is two, and its size is eighteen point twelve. Right. We'll run over here to seven and fifteen, and do those. <clears throat> Nine will be a major pain to do, but oh well, because it's gonna take uh, it's gonna take three extra courses on top of uh, or paths on top of nine, so that's gonna be pretty great. Seven. Its path is seven and six point nine two. How much time we got left? Six minutes. Okay, so today's video will end up being a lot longer than normal, but oh well. I'm sure you guys won't complain. Holy cow, this one goes down into a big dip. Alright, so this is 15. 15 for the eastern. And it will be 38 for the western. So let's, we'll do this one down here first before we figure out sizes. Fifteen east is seven point six. And then point nine seventy what else? All right, so now we'll go do field three.
So what we'll do is we'll get uh, 11, 10, 9, and 3 done. And then I'll finish the rest of them off camera. And then I'll pick up recording once I am back on my desktop. And oops, I missed some grass there. Okay, need to make some adjustments there. So three is three. Size is 34.67. Not bad size. Now I'll run over here and do 11 and 10. Excuse me. So I need to make a note. Three. That's done in the south. Just gotta make a note of that to make sure that I go back and fix it. So yeah, I'm. I really like this grass texture. I might change the grass uh, texture paint layer, but I'm gonna leave the foliage layer. I might change the texture paint layer. I'm not positive yet. So Ten is two separate pieces as well. That'll be 10 and 39. Go here and do field 11. size is 2.7 for 11 so it's not a very big field uh the field sizes definitely vary in this field or on this map maybe you can this, this map <clears throat> so this is gonna be 39 right. 10 for the other one So the eastern part is 2.23 and western part is 2.16. Okay, now for the fun field, field 9, which is going to be a big paint. Um, so we have 9, central, and then we have 40, I'm going to call it this, this is going to be a crazy one. Okay, so let's start off with 9 first. Let's get that one out of the way. Oops, I shouldn't have hit the brakes. So we have 9. Behind us, we'll do 40. Forty for the western. Forty one for the north. Do port. And the mouse is Uh, 
this is 40E1. There's our timer, but we're going to keep going anyways. bit of grass there. <clears throat> this is 42. Alright, so we have 9. It's 27.49. We have 40, 41, 42, 3.31 for the western part, 6.53 for the northeast part, and 0.68 for the Alright guys, so I'm going to finish the rest of these off camera here, and then I will uh, get back to you guys when I'm here on my desktop figuring out these prices and the acres. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Alright, welcome back guys. Sorry, I forgot my mic was up there. Alright, welcome back. So we're on my desktop. We're on the uh, Google Documents page here. And I'm inputting everything from here onto here. And then we'll start figuring out acres and prices. So, just working on entering all these. So 33, 34, 5, 36, 37. Okay, so field 17. So that's 9 and 1.08. So that's 10.08. 7.27, All right, then we have 26.42, six, 23.3, 28.38, okay. 10.89, 9.10, and we have 5.57, and then we have 11.87, or 47, as we have 3 and 8.47, we have 13.4, 7.8, or 15.7, The last one we need the calculator for 51.1. Plus 9.76. That is our biggest field by 0.75 hectares. 60.86. We have 18.68. 34.2. 7. 2.24 and 29.08. Those are all of our fields. So now, 8 hectares, 2 acres. Sixty point one one. that's 148. I'm not doing the decimal 
just doing an even 18.12, that's 44. 34.67. So that's how I do that. So now to figure out the price of the field, we'll take 148 times 175. That gives us $25,900. Forty-four times one seventy-five. That's seventy-seven hundred. Eighty-five times one seventy-five. Fourteen eight seventy-five. And that's how I do it. So, guys, that's gonna do it for me for the for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so happy to be at this point on my map. Um, your Saturday video will be back on Dad's Farm. So I'll see you guys in your Saturday video. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you haven't already, turn on my post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Video schedule is Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Central Time and Saturdays at noon Central. Make sure you check out down below in the description for links to all my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.